you know, it just occurred to me that I have an updated background and it shows how much of a Karibu I am and how much I stand twice and black pink and Sailor Moon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I actually received a package in the mail and I'm just like, what else did I order? Because I sometimes impulse buy and yeah. But then I quickly realized it's a package from V1 Tech. And if you guys didn't know, V1 Tech is a company that crafts custom made mod parts for your computer. So one day when I was scrolling through my social media, I stumbled upon a couple of Facebook and Instagram ads directing towards V1 Tech. And of course they were advertising a sale. And right before the start of the new year, V1 Tech had this sale for New Year's and I just had to take advantage of it. So then I went ahead on purchasing a custom made RGB backplate for my GPU. I'll have to say this package took a good minute to get to me, but they did know on their site it was gonna take a good amount of time for processing so now that i got my package i want to give you guys a unboxing and installation on how i apply it to my gpu and as always before we start make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and feel free to check out my twitch profile along with my social medias linked in the description Alrighty, so now that i have you on my desk view let's now open this package out of all the designs that v1 tech had offered i chose something that was sailor moon related of course now I'm just gonna take my big old knife and just open it up. I will have to say though, V1 Tech has a lot of designs and then it's great how they collaborate with other artists for commissioning their work in their designs. Like you can even have your own custom design uploaded and printed on your backplate. So in this package, it contains a little pack of wires that connects to the actual backplate for powering and then the actual backplate itself. And then as I was opening the pouch that had all the power cores to it, it also came with a remote to change the RGB settings and also some adhesives. And the three wires that the backplate comes with are the RGB remote SATA power cable, the Corsair IQ cable, and a Gigabyte Fusion VDG cable. And if you have no clue which cable is which, each cable is labeled accordingly. V1 Tech also provides a installation guide along with a how-to video on their site. The package also includes non-conductive magnets so the backplate can be held in place securely. And here is the backplate itself. And then while I was lifting it up, there was a small bag of Skittles hidden in the package, which is really random but thoughtful of them. Let's now reveal the design of my backplate. The backplate I got was for my NVIDIA Geoforce RTX 2080 Founders Edition. And right here is the Sailor Moon Galaxy design I got. And in the back, here is the RGB light strip on the top right here. As you can see, the overall material for this backplate is more of like a plastic acrylic material. But the one flaw that stood out the most to me was the cut of this shape wasn't really even, but no big deal. So now here is the view in my PC and above there is my GPU and now it's time to get installing. The first thing I did was to take the non-conducted magnets and lay them out accordingly to where I want them to be. I kind of just glimpsed at the instructions they provided and I'm just kind of winging it now. After that, I took the small sticky adhesives that it came with and I just placed them on top of each magnet. Now I am just measuring with the backplate to see 
it can be securely fastened with the magnets and adhesive right before I peel out the backings of the adhesive. Now after peeling back the adhesive, I'm just taking the back plate and gently setting it on top. I have really big man hands, so I just have to be really careful and align it. And then after setting it on top, I'm just applying light pressure on my finger so it could be secured. And since it's secured with small magnets, I could just like move it around and adjust it still. So now that we applied the back plate, it's time to hook it up with the wires. I chose to use the RF SATA cable since I read that was the most popular way to install this with. And it was also convenient for me because it was the best way to hide the wire. And after hooking the wires up, I just took the remote and we're finished. So this back plate gave my PC a really nice touch to my GPU and just amplified the way my overall PC looks. I already had some RGB light strips in my PC already, but the more RGB, the better. So this concludes my video on my unboxing and installation of my V1 Tech GPU RGB backplate. And overall, I would have to say for just a piece of RGB strip and plastic, it looks really nice. And the installation for this was really simple. I would recommend if you're interested in getting a backplate from V1 Tech, take advantage to any of their sales because I got mine when it was already like reduced priced on top of 20% off on their overall site sale. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to also follow me on my Twitch profile along with my social medias linked in the description.